saved the best for last. I think we're done. Uh, we are done. Time. Yep. Done? Sweet. Yep. All right, this is the full timer. This truck has many, many man hours of labor and time and planning for this truck. It's a 2019 Tacoma TRD Pro in the Voodoo Blue. Got lots of cool stuff, so we're just going to jump right in. Back with Adventure Mods, aluminum front bumper. This thing is, you can literally pick it up with one hand, just the shell. The cool thing is their winch mount is all steel, nice and strong, bolt up to the frame, your winch bolts to that, so you still have the full pulling force, pulling force that you can. But you know, keeping it lightweight because we have a lot of stuff on the trucks, so we can't weigh it down. Midland sent over one of their new antennas. I don't know the model number from this one, but it's their new Overland antenna. It's gets you. I can't remember the range. Excuse me, I'm not a I'm not a radio guy. But we got Dio Dynamics lights packed in here. They have the come up solo nine and a half thousand pound winch in here, and the control box. You can kind of see it. We had to get a little creative because it was on a rush. Um, but we got the control box mounted right up on top, and I'll pop it later on to show you. Um, this truck also has a duty pop. Out. We got a supercharger. This thing does have a Magnuson supercharger on as well. We have some of the parts laid out here. Um, we're gonna just show you a couple of these parts like this. We'll have more videos with it open up later on, but. When we get to that, and I actually get the keys to this truck and unlock it, we'll go from there. But for now, we'll jump back in. Method wheels. You'll notice they don't come in chrome. We had these powder coated chrome because we had to be a little flashy on this one. We wanted to have fun with it. Everything we do, we like to have fun with it. Uh, so we also talked to Dobbinsons. They sent over the MRR setup. We wanted, with all the weight and just where this thing can go, we wanted the adjustability throughout the entire truck for everything. So with the MRRs, you have your high speed compression, your low speed compression. Just get under here, twist a couple knobs, fine tune it to your specific needs. Um, again, we just heard from David about all their spring rates and their spring technology and the shock technology. This truck rides flush, even with all the stuff, with all the extra weight and able to carry more weight it still rides super plush. On the highway, it was really windy getting here. We tightened up the compression a little bit, and now it's stiffer, so we don't, we're not getting blown all over the highway. Um, for tires, 35, 12, 50. And you're going, how do they clear? It's a Tacoma, they don't clear. C4 fabrication came in clutch. We have the C4 OTF kit. So we actually chopped the body mount, relocated it back, got it all the way out of the way, you cut all this out, and then they actually send you templates to cut the actual fenders and the fender flares. So these 35s clear with zero rub for the full travel of the truck and no matter what angle you're trying to turn at. That was super cool. Um, for skid plates, these are actually our skid plates that we made. Um, they're fully bolt on design. There's no spacers. There's no anything you have to get to. It's just like removing a factory skid plate. We actually didn't even want to put in the oil drain uh, like little plate in there. In our experience, it still gets oil behind there. It still gets nasty. So we just made it super lightweight. It's easy, and it's the same bolts that you would take out for a normal skid plate, just stronger. So we got all that running through there. They got the Dio Dynamics SS5 light bar turned on. The cool thing about those is, A, they're super duper bright, but you can change the backlighting color by hitting a couple buttons and it just cycles through. You got pink, you got magenta, or that's the same color, purple. Chartreuse. Chartreuse, amber, whatever you want. You can do it however you want. It's super cool and it's ungodly bright. It's, it's really dumb. We're pulling almost 60 amps of power out of that single light bar. We had to get a little creative with the wiring. Um, moving around to the side, ARV Safari Snorkel, they fit great. Just install right on, wanna keep it safe. Again, full timer, you don't know what you're gonna get into. You're gonna travel across the country in this thing. So ARB Safari Snorkel, we have CBI sliders that are kind of covered up by front runner and Magnus on that side, but CBI sliders. Uh, the front runner slimline 2 low profile roof rack. It's also paired up with a low profile wind fairy. So it all just goes right on, looks super great. You can attach that. We have one of the grab handles on the other side too. Grab handles. Grab handles all day, dude. Moving to the back of the truck. Obviously, Dobbinson's MRRs here, right here. Again, adjustability is just click and turn, and you're setting up your stiffness and everything like that. We do have their heaviest leaf pack back here because of this big boy, the Alu Cab Canopy Camper. So these things have been really fun to work with lately. Um, they are super modular. You can install a bunch of stuff in here. They really don't weigh that much. I mean, they're, they're heavier, but it's all aluminum. So it's really not as heavy as you think it is. 
inside here, we have it packed out. This is not even near fully optioned either. We have a water tank here. It's gravity fed, but lots of our customers have us install inline pumps so they can actually get water pressure out of it. One of the coolest things that we have in here is the Newport Dickinson propane fireplace. So no, no joke, you open this up and you actually light it and there's fire in here and it's heating the entire inside of the cabin. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere, Montana, and it gets really cold, start this thing up and you have, you have a fully heated interior through here. On the back end, we did put the spare tire mount. This is yeah. a 35 inch tire well, on no, the yellow yeah. cab. Um, the spare tire mount is super heavy duty. It doesn't vibrate, it doesn't wobble around. It's not going anywhere. It's really cool. And you'll notice a little smokestack for your propane fireplace. Also paired up with Dobbins, or, uh, Biodynamics lights all around. So we have lighting at camp, we have lighting behind us. We can see all around us the whole way through. Getting into here, we have a table, we have a cutting board. Um, this is a Dometic, one of their new stoves that they sent over for us. We got hot plates, we got griddles, whatever you want to do, this little thing will do it. And to show you, I'll take some of this off real quick. Whoops. And all you got to do is put the table away. Slide it up, and you lock it up. Super cool stuff. For the rear, we actually wanted to make a bed plate system so we can kind of hard, hard fix some of these, uh, some of the front runner boxes, your fridge, your goose gear, whatever you want to do. C deck. We, it's all bare aluminum under here. It actually had our logo engraved in it, but we wanted it to be soft. You're going to be staying, spending a lot of time in here. So we got the C deck and not only does it look really cool, but it's nice and soft and it's actually foamy. It's cleanable. Everything's good with that. Um, tucked in here, we have our ARB dual compressor. So just pop that on. It's all powered by the Switch Pro RCR Force 12. We got air, we have fireplace, we have water. I mean, you can really can go, the sky's the limit with these. You can attach just about anything you'd want to them. Um, the tents are some of the most comfortable tents out there. The Alu cabs are great, great tents. Uh, the setup is super quick. If you get up in there and you shut all of the, the windows, it is pitch black. You won't be able to see your hand on your face. It's such a comfortable setup. Um, we do a lot of these for people who are really going out there a lot of the time and they're spending night after night out in the woods. Um, and this is one of the setups for it. Here's the drain for the water. I don't want to open that up, make a mess, but here's your gravity fed drain. This is your propane mount, so we actually have the regulator in here. You pick up your propane and you have full access to that. You can run it over into the grill or the stove, all of it. It just works really, really well together. Um, what about that sick rear bumper, dude? Backwoods came in so clutch with this rear bumper. They made this in two days. We were running behind, some other stuff didn't work out. I called Mo at Backwoods and I was like, do you have any rebound? He goes, no, but I can make you one by tomorrow. He said, powder coat? He goes, you guys need powder coat. So he got this ripped out to us and we were actually cutting this truck up yesterday <laughs> to install this. And it was just a cool, cool experience because the guys at Backwoods Adventure Mods, they're super fun to work with and just the, the just the willingness to dive in and make us a rear bumper in one day to bring it down here and install it. It's super cool. We didn't have time to grab lights just yet, but we you know we're going to throw some dive dynamics in there. Um, coming around to the side, obviously we got the MRRs. I can't really get into the truck just yet, so we'll do more. Um, on the Alu Cab, I almost glossed over this, the Shadow On. This is one of the most stout awnings that is on the market. And again, it's super easy to set up. And until the winds start getting really crazy, you don't even have to put the legs down. They just work and they just stay open. They actually latch to the side of the alley cab here. So you got a little latch where the awning just secures up there and you're set up and ready to go. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a lot of stuff. We'll get to some of the interior stuff and the supercharger under the hood. Um, but right now we're getting set up. Everything's still closed up and we got stuff everywhere. So that is for the most part, the full time.